You know, I hear, I hear a lot of kind of like pain and anger in this comment, and I don't think you mean it. Um, I'm not totally sure what place you're coming from, because you don't know me, and I don't know why you would, you know, wish that kind of ill on someone. Um, I mean, I'm stepping in here because hopefully it will get to person who put that on your post many of my followers and people who see me regularly will know that I am on the up for and have spent the last 18 months being treated uh, for cancer I had quite a large uh, endometrial problem I had most of my reproductive in fact all of my reproductive organs moved and then six months later they found a tumour in my bowel and I live in the UK where we have the National Health Service and fully socialised healthcare. So what treatment did I get? Well, I got surgery. I got robotic surgery with the little arms, so I only had five little incisions. I had a completely radical hysterectomy and I recovered very quickly from that because I had robotic surgery. As soon as I had recovered from that, I went on to have radiotherapy and I also had uh, some chemotherapy sessions with the adjuvant um, radiotherapy and I had that and that was when after that they discovered the tumour in my bowel when they did a scan. I had four sessions of paclitaxel and carboplatin and then they stopped it because they weren't sure what was happening with the tumour and a few months later I started the same chemotherapy regime for four sessions and I had a brand new immunotherapy drug called Dostalimub, which has not been on the market for very long. It's only just been approved. And as far as we are aware, the Dostalimub has done its job. On my last scan, which I have quite regularly, the only sign of any cancerous problems was a very small avid lymph node under one arm. For all of this, I paid not a single penny. The one thing that I haven't had to worry about was the cost of my treatment or hospital parking. Neither do I pay for any of my prescription medications. So if my earnings had been reduced to nil, I would have got money from the state. It wouldn't have been very much, but I would have been able to keep myself fed. And with a little bit of tightening of the belt, I would have just about been able to keep a roof over my head. Socialised healthcare is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It means that as soon as I thought I had a problem, I had no hesitation in phoning up the doctor. And at no point have we had to worry about paying for it. And if people who are watching this are not familiar with that, you can trundle back. I mean, you'll see I've done a couple of videos of what it's like being in a socialised, you know, in an NHS hospital. It's not dreadful. So don't believe all the crap you're told. Yay for the NHS and socialised medicine.